Ed Lee is a corporate media reporter for the New York Times, as well as a CNBC contributor. And Tom Forte is managing director and senior research analyst at DA Davidson. Uh, Ed, nobody does it better than Apple in terms of product announcement, creating anticipation, creating excitement. Uh, does this one live up to the hype? Um, you know what? I think this was the, one of the more subdued Apple events that I've seen in a while, actually. Um, look, I, it's very well presented, very well marketed. They're, they're still the masters at it. Um, but I think it's a lot of sort of geeking out, frankly, right? It's like the new phone, yes, it looks kind of the same, but it's faster, brighter, better nits. They really geeked out on all the stats there. So I think for the hardcore users, absolutely, they're going to eat this up. But for everyday people like you and me, I'm like, it looks the same, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. I think, you know, in that yep. sense, yeah, it's, 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 I'm still, I'm still trying to pay attention to see exactly what the big differences are. Better camera, yes, uh, all that good stuff, but it, it feels more subdued than I've seen in the past. Yeah, it does uh, sort of feel that way, Tom Forte, a, a little bit. In, in other words, the camera is better. Well, the camera was pretty damn good to begin with here. Uh, 5G, well, yeah, that's better than 4G, I suppose, if you can get 5G service where you happen to be. Let's talk a little bit about the stock price. I was looking back, um, uh, our producer, Maria Bowden, sent along a chart that showed how Apple stock uh, performs immediately after iPhone announcements. And I was surprised that over the years, it hasn't performed really, really spectacularly well uh, in the short term or in the medium term of three months or so. What should we expect this time? Sure. So I think, Tyler, the reason that happens is the stock tends to run into the announcement, and then they have the new product announcement, mm. and the stock doesn't do very well. Then they report the first quarter with actual sales, of the new products, and then I think the stock starts to get a bid once again. So I think the good news for Apple for this year is similar to last year, the real star of the show is the 5G network. So I don't think they need to have anything spectacular in the iPhone 13. It's getting consumers a 5G device as they slowly but surely build out the 5G network. I think it'll be very strong sales for iPhone for that reason, which is good news for Apple and its stock. The 5G network, let's talk a little bit about that, because I have a phone that um, uh, operates on 5G, uh, but very rarely am I able to connect with 5G, so I could not tell you at all what 5G means to me. Right now, it's pretty much nothing, Tom. What it means to you now, Tyler, is a faster processor, probably when you're on your home Wi-Fi. So hopefully you appreciate that element. And what it also means is that this is a multi-year event uh, you're touching on excellent points, Tyler, that it's going to take a while for the 5G network build out to happen, especially on a global scale, mm -hmm. especially in the U.S. So I think that's good news for Apple. It means many years of iPhone uh, unit growth. Mm -hmm. I tell you, you know, Ed, back to you. I, I really, that, that is a great phrase that, that it seems like Apple is geeking out here on, on technical specifications. We've got these products now, and they, are, they do pretty much everything I want them to do. Uh, and... And we're sort of in that world of, of where differences are not necessarily noticeable to the, to the basic end user or consumer. The camera may be better, yes. The processor may be better. But I'm going at increments of change that I don't even notice sometimes. And you talked about 5G and how it's something that you have that you don't even, you, you can't really not apply a, yeah, it. I can't experience it. So here, yeah, we're... we're we're in this situation now where, you know, Apple is doing a good job of trying to stay at the cutting edge or, mm -hmm. or at least keeping up with Samsung, right, in terms of all the technical specifications. But what they're doing is that 5G is a technology that's still in search of an app, right? It's still in search of a killer application, so mm -hmm. to speak. You know, we're talking about potentially, you know, sort of, you know, automated cars or whatever it might be. Faster when I'm out on the run, yes, it's better, but I don't notice it that much. It was already mm -hmm. fast to begin with, as you pointed out. So right. the full capabilities of 5G really haven't been tapped into yet. And that's because it comes down to developers. It comes down to applications. And we don't really know what that looks like. So until that happens, until mm -hmm. that killer app really exists, 5G is just another marketing slogan. And for most users, it's sort of like, okay, it's better, I guess, right? So that's that's the missing piece in all of this. I, 